Hello, welcome back to Chuck's Piano Shop. We're wor working on our 1917 Steinway Action Restoration. And what you're looking at is the completed project at this point. Uh, everything except putting it back in the piano and making sure all the, my adjustments and everything matches up. So you're looking at the back of the action now with the hammers uh, facing forward and here we see this is the back of the hammers. Okay. And these are our repetitions or whippings. So I have completed all the installations all the way down to you'll see I've reused all of the metal parts uh, as possible and um, not the actual action parts but the frame and so I polished all of them so hopefully they're good for another hundred years there we go the brass and the copper and um, so here you see the action you see the new uh, back rail cloth the grain that has a rel red lift cloth underneath here's our graphite that we do use on the back rail. This is for smoothness when using a soft pedal. This shifts the entire action, so instead of striking all three strings, it just strikes two, unless you regulate it where it barely strikes the third, which is also another way of doing it. We have all new key in felts. These are all new. Um, okay. So there we go. Let's put the hammers down. And see if I can turn it around while I hold the camera. She would hate to drop it at this point. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So I've even used these are the old 1917 screws. And I've buffed and polished them all out, so they ought to be good for another hundred years. And so now we're looking at the front of the action, as as if you were playing it. These are ivories, which I really hate taking them from elephants, but once they are done, I do want to preserve them as well as possible. Just don't take any more. Okay, and we have all new key punchings underneath, so everything has been replaced using the two frames, the wooden frame being the key frame, okay, the stack, which is the action frame, other than that, all the parts are new, Steinway and Ger Renner German, which they use on the German Steinway parts, we have New York hammers, and I'll still tweak them once I get them in the piano. So the only thing I have left to do here tonight is my last step. I'm going to juice the hammers, which is lacquer the hammers. Let them sit overnight to harden so that we'll have plenty of power and a good tone in the piano. And then tomorrow morning, I will be taking this to Jennifer's studio. And installing it in the piano and the beast will be tamed <laughs> one way or the other and um, so uh, we'll have to give one last little demonstration uh, over there uh, but other than that this project has been completed uh, we'll be doing another one starting in about a month that is a uh, 1928 I believe it is Steinway M that's a five foot seven parlor grand, very beautiful little piano. And um, I appreciate anyone who has been interested enough to watch and check out the way that pianos work and what we do when we restore old classic pianos. Uh, I hope that goes on for way after I'm gone. Okay, everyone take care and happy Mother's Day out there. To all the moms all over the world, We're, we wouldn't be here without you. Okay, take care. Bye.